Hey beauties, it's Julia and I'm back with a new wig review. I like to watch wig reviews from different YouTubers. Sasha Hartlib has reviewed Bobby, which is made by Envy. She loves Bobby. She has Bobby in light blonde and a red shade. I have really been watching Bobby for quite some time and wondering if I was ever going to take the leap from affordable, less expensive wigs to the more expensive and medical grade wigs. For 20 years I've worn wigs and I just have not been able to convince myself that they are worth spending a couple of hundred dollars on. Sasha has convinced me and so did Extension of Denim 2.0. He has a channel here on YouTube where he talks about the differences between the less expensive wigs and the medical grade wigs. These two wig reviewers finally made me cross that line from economical wigs to the more expensive higher end wigs. I purchased Bobby by Envy and I'm happy to report that I am thrilled with her and I'd like to tell you about the wig and what is so wonderful about it. It arrives in this box. Very pretty box. It has the model number and the color sparkling champagne on the end. The box is so nice you can reuse it to store your jewelry, your shoes, or, or whatnots in. It comes with a very nice instructional leaflet that tells you about the wig and how to properly care for it and just some other tips. Here is the tag that was on the wig. Immediately when I took Bobby out of the box I was surprised. What surprised me was how lightweight she is. She weighs 4.72 ounces. Probably the lightest weight wig I have ever felt in my life. I thought to myself, oh gosh, this, you know, this can't be good. If she's that lightweight, there must not be enough hair density. The wefts are going to show. The tracks are going to show. No, I was wrong. She has beautiful density. She has a monofilament top so that the hair can be parted any way that you desire. She has a scalloped edge lace front that extends down to the ear tabs. The back is open wefted. Now this color sparkling champagne has kind of a darker root area at the top, but what I love about it is that it's very natural. It looks like human hair that's grown out and blends in nicely with the blonde color uh, that the rest of the wig is made up of. Beautifully done. The color looks realistic. I do not know what kind of hair fiber this is. Do you know that I Google searched? I looked on the Envy Company website trying to find out what hair fiber is used in this wig. They don't disclose it for whatever reason, but I can tell you it's high quality. It's very soft. It is not overly shiny. She has adjustable straps in the back. There are no combs. Let me put her on for you so you can see what she looks like. Bobby measures seven inches in the front. She's a layer cut style and she has long bangs. She measures 12.5 inches at the crown, 11.75 inches at the sides, and 12.75 inches at the nape of the neck. One great feature, aside from the monofilament top, is the fact that the scalloped lace front gives you an invisible hairline. It's just really fabulous. Now when she comes out of the box, 
she has a strange zigzag part. And you kind of have a cousin it <laughs> look going on when you first put her on. Not a problem. She's very easy to style. You can part her in any direction that you desire. I'm going with a side part because that's what my natural hair tends to do. Parts to the side. Let me show you this great parting. I mean, it's just so well done. It's hand stitched, the monofilament top and the lace front. Here's the side view. And now the back. This wig has great movement. And it's very comfortable. The cap is comfortable. Right out of the box, it fits me perfectly. I have not had to adjust the straps, and I have an average size head. So I'm very, very pleased with her. On a scale from 1 to 10, I give Envy's Bobby a 10. Now, that being said, I will have a one-month review of her uh, that you can look forward to. I think it's always important to come back after a month or two and review a wig again because if you wear wigs like I do, you know that in time certain problems crop up um, once the hair, you know, breaks in and you're wearing it on a daily basis, sometimes you find some problems that weren't apparent in the beginning. So please look for that in a month's time. Thank you so much for watching my wig review today. Please be sure to subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comments section below. Thank you. Take care.